Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, somewhere outside Clean, Texas, near Fort Hood. Um, brought in by an Army officer to teach a combatives and then a no -gi seminar coming up. Um, this will probably air afterwards. But he was speaking very highly of a Tomiki Aikido instructor that had the real stuff. That he's trained with them, felt it. Uh, the guy teaches a lot of, teaches for the Army, teaches Army people. Uh, and, um, you know, other local judokas that he knows that are very high level also spoke highly of his skills and things like that. So that got me so interested. And even though I'm the one going to teach, I'm going to go learn and do what I can. And I'm like other people that just judge stuff for years or ignore, ignore stuff for years. I am going to go feel it for myself. So sit back, enjoy, like, subscribe, and get down there in the comments. Here we go. You were waiting for a big coming, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> And there we go. <laughs> Good posture. <laughs> no committed weight. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a lock. This is how you do it to test the style. <laughs> you go to a master in a Tomiki school and you actually do it. Not just bash it. So I found the real thing, and that's not easy to find. There we go. Yeah, no, I just okay. We agreed, uh, we agreed, uh, you know, constant, like something. Right. I'm good? Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
Well, okay, so this is how you do it. You go to a Taniki school with a real master, with real sensitivity, real structure, understands Kabushi, and you test it for yourself instead of just this. Same to everybody, not just them, but learn. Learn by doing. I'm glad we built these walls with extra support. <laughs> exactly, we said 15. Here we go. <laughs> You can turn one up. One up. Training with Jeff was super awesome. I'm glad I went first-hand experience to get real self-knowledge about Tomiki Aikido from a really high-level guy. And all my years of Aikido travels and Japan and stuff, he's the first guy who really felt he had the real sensitivity touch, structure sensitivity, um, and, and we understood Kazushi and all that. So I, uh, we both talked about it at the end of class, even before we had our, our, our little challenge. 
and uh, we both learned from each other and felt things from each other and used slightly different language than each other about uh, technical things like I said Kelly and triangular and this and that and some systema words and the way he did and we, we, we agree on the center and stuff like that we both learn from each other and that's what it's about folks and it's about getting real experience and getting better every day um, so keep in mind when you're watching it there's a lot going on you may not see it if you're really low level and it's kind of hard to see but there's so much happening in micro fission kinesthetic intelligence going on and I'm, he's really protecting his center well where I'm trying to close and get in I had a couple attempts at Kodagishi uh, pretty decent um, but so he's the real deal because I say so and because you know everyone else I easily throw around takedown standing lock uh, etc and it wasn't so easy um, so you see something about being open-minded to different styles and you see something there about being well-rounded in different martial arts and different ranges of combat um, as well. Um, but uh, I want to thank Jeff. I'm not saying his last name or the school. Uh, it's kind of like invite only, I think. Um, but he also teaches the military. And uh, it was just a great experience. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I think we both got a lot from it. Keep in mind, guys, I know I'm a little fat, right? You know, uh, C 1984 happened to take over the world. And uh, I, my arm was twice the size of the other. Yeah, jacked up on prednisone for over 20 days, which almost killed me. And now I got to stay on it because my quarter's all so low that I don't make any. So, you know, I kind of got to do that and try to protect my kidney and that's just the way it is right now and he was only like 165 so just kind of keep that in mind uh but i'm glad that i came and did that even though in a few days i'm the one brought in to teach some seminars and uh you gotta always uh try to evolve and it's great to find real people and it's hard to find but when you do it's a great thing so please thumbs up share subscribe get down there in the comments and let me know what you think and i got a tomiki six uh, techniques video in ufc 4